This video is intended to help students walk through the following multiple choice questions because what happens is students try to memorize a bunch of facts and the reality is you're just supposed to be able to picture the graph of a logarithm and use it to help you answer such questions. So for example, if ever you ask questions about a logarithm of base b of x where base can be anything bigger than 1, everything I say in this video would be true. So unless you're going to be shifting the graph up, down, left, or right, which we won't do until the next chapter, one fact that I want you to know, so these are just quick facts, is that the graph would cross the x-axis at 1, 0. Now the x-axis is typically called the horizontal axis, so this question may not be formed as what's the x-intercept, it might be what is the horizontal intercept. What happens is that students know what they're doing, but they get mixed up in the terminology. The horizontal intercept is the point 1 comma 0. It's the point where the graph crosses or intercepts the x-axis or the horizontal axis. So what's going to happen is later on in the line I may ask for the horizontal asymptote, which is a completely different question, but because they sound a lot alike, uh, students uh, confuse the two. So rather than asking for an intercept, I'm going to ask for a horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote for this would be that there is none. Logarithms do not have horizontal asymptotes. A horizontal asymptote would be a horizontal line for which if you go far enough to the right or the left that the graph would get closer and closer to that line but never go taller than that. So it sure does look like that's the case here that this logarithm would flatten out and never exceed this line but it's just simply not true. Logarithms go up forever. They just do so so slowly that visually it looks like they never would actually cross this line here. So it's just one thing you're supposed to know about a logarithm is that logarithms do not have horizontal asymptotes but they always have horizontal intercepts and if the equations of this form that horizontal intercept would be 1 comma 0. Uh, so just moving right along other facts, another thing you're supposed to know is that any equation of this form where b is bigger than 1, that it would have a vertical asymptote uh, right here which is the y-axis and the y-axis is a vertical line and the equation for a vertical line is always x equals the number that the line passes through and this vertical line passes through x equals 0 here so it would have the equation x equals 0 and we call that the vertical asymptote meaning that the graph actually looks vertical there and it approaches that vertical line as x gets closer and closer to 0 so that would be the vertical asymptote and another question that's similar to this one that students uh, again might get confused with is if you were to ask what is the vertical intercept and remember an intercept is where uh, something intersects or crosses so if I ask for the intercept the vertical intercept of this graph would be where the graph actually crosses the vertical axis and as I just said it doesn't cross in fact it never even touches there's a vertical asymptote there so vertical intercept is none or if you're answering question math AS you would write DNE for does not exist in fact you could write that over here for the horizontal asymptote here uh, does not exist so again these are a lot of facts that could be memorized but I don't memorize them per se I just picture the graph here always a vertical asymptote never a horizontal uh, horizontal intercept is where it crosses the x-axis that's 1 comma 0 vertical intercept is where it crosses the y-axis there's clearly none based on the graph the other kinds of questions I like to ask is domain or range and again you could memorize this uh, but the intent isn't for you to memorize a bunch of facts but for you to picture the graph so the domain of a logarithm again without shifting left right up or down or anything uh, the domain is how far left and right the graph goes and it clearly goes to the right forever uh, but it does not go to the left forever in fact it never takes on an x value of zero so the graph starts at zero but not including zero and includes all x values to the right of that so we write that as x is greater than zero or in interval notation you would write that as zero comma and then since it doesn't take on the x value zero notice the parenthesis here and since it goes to the right forever it goes all the way to infinity so here's our symbol for positive infinity and because you can't reach infinity again we use a parenthesis there uh, the range is pretty clear the range is how high and how low the graph goes meaning what kind of y values or outputs the graph takes on and since the graph goes down forever and up forever remember there's no horizontal asymptote the graph really does go up forever that means the range is all real numbers uh, so one way to say it is just to say all real numbers as opposed to say complex numbers 
Uh, so you could say all real numbers. In um, interval notation, you would say that the graph goes down as low as negative infinity. We call that direction in terms of y values negative infinity. And we say going up forever in terms of y values would be positive infinity because that's where you have your positive y values. Down here is where you have your negative y values. So in interval notation, it would look like negative infinity comma infinity. But hopefully you remember that the domain is talking about x values and the range is talking about y values. In fact, if you wanted an inequality notation, we could say that y is between, uh, but not including, uh, negative infinity and infinity. And that would clear up that this all here is talking about the outputs of the y values of the function as opposed to the uh, x values. So let me see if I can move over a little bit and show you the actual math AS questions. Uh, the math AS questions uh, look like the following. It says, which of the following is the equation for the horizontal uh, asymptote of the function y equals log x? So since there's no base right there, uh, that would mean that the base is 10. And remember, my stipulation is that as long as b is bigger than 1, uh, <laughs> everything I say in the video holds true. Uh, so this is a logarithm of base 10, b is bigger than 1. And the question is, what's the horizontal asymptote? Well, there is none, remember. Remember the graph? does not level off, it goes up as far as you want. So the answer is logarithms do not have horizontal asymptotes. Um, if I go to the next question in line, it says, what is the vertical asymptote? We said that that's always x equals zero, as long as you're not shifting the graph around. So the answer would be A. Uh, next question says, which of the following is the horizontal intercept? That means where does the graph cross? Where does it intersect Where's th with the horizontal axis? And I said that that's the point 1, 0. That would be right here C. Common wrong answer is A, because 0, 1 would be on the y-axis, which is the vertical axis. And this is asking for the horizontal intercept. So don't uh, be fooled by choice A. The horizontal intercept is C, 1, 0. Uh, next question, uh, what is the domain of the logarithm? And I gave it in both inequality and interval notation. And the domain, if you remember, is x is bigger than 0. So that would be A. Uh, the next question after that is, what is the range? We said it's all real numbers, so that's D. Just click D and submit your answer. And then, what is the vertical intercept? That's where the graph intersects the vertical axis and we said there is none in fact there's an asymptote there meaning the graph doesn't touch that axis at all so this function does not have a vertical intercept so it does not exist it would be choice e i think there might be one more question nope this question has nothing to do with uh, this video so hopefully that helps with the following multiple choice questions